So I would have figured checkboxes in Excel would have been a thing by now. Apparently it's a new thing though. No longer do you have to use form control or active X control checkboxes and then tie it to a condition in a cell. Now we can just insert checkbox straight into the cell. Kind of like we could do in Google Sheets all along. Be that as it may, I have some advantages in Microsoft Excel that I'd like to go through as we build out this graded checklist. First thing we'll do is just get it looking nice and pretty. I've got some days of the week, some names, and then in each of these boxes, I want a checkbox. So we insert checkbox and we're done. This is, all this is doing is holding a true or a false value. True if it's checked, false if it's not, inside the cell itself. Now I'm gonna add a total points column here on the far right. And what I want is for each of the checks to be worth 50 points. So to do that, we're going to use the count if function and we're going to count it if it's true. So for every one that's true, we tally up a number. If there's three trues, it'll be three. Then we'll multiply that result by 50 and we get our total points amount. Now we wanna make this look good, right? So we are going to go into the themes in layout and select, I don't know, this slipstream color theme looks pretty good. So this will give us some colors that go together and then I'm going to just style each of these columns accordingly. Now we're getting somewhere with all of this, it's looking sharp. After that, I want to be able to designate who wins or who is in the lead automatically and also I want it to be able to include more than one name in case two people win. So I could just use the max function, but if I just use max over here in the total points column and two people have the same number of points, it's only gonna pick the first occurrence. So that's no good. In order to get around this, we're going to combine text join, filter, and max into one big old nice function. And we're gonna go the extra mile and actually include some text appended to the start of that function so that it'll say winner and I'll have this arrow and then it'll have whoever has one. And if there's more than one, it will separate each of these with a comma. But that's not all. We're gonna go even one further step and put it all within an if statement so that if there are no points scored by anybody, so if everything's zero, nothing will be displayed here. It'll only be displayed when people start accruing points. Let's test this and it is working, but instead of having this value for the winner in a cell, let's do something in Excel that you cannot do in Google Sheets. And that is throw in a text box. And then we have this box contain a value from another cell. So we've got this winner formula down here, but I just am gonna have that display in our text box. And then I'm gonna style the text box nice and purdy like throw it down here and we are gorgeous. An added bonus here is that this little emoji will display properly in a text box, whereas it would not display properly in a cell. Booyah. As an added final touch, we will throw a text box up here at the top to label our entire project and we're done. Before we finish, let's add a clear button. So we can use a button over here in the developer tab using ActiveX controls, and we can create this so that a VBA script will run when we click this button, and then it just sets all the values back to false. So it clears all the checkboxes. How about that? Hope this was helpful for you and you learned something. Let me know in the comments below. Have a great one. Bye.